Hi guys, Shay here with BeautyAlong at BeautyAlong.com. It's been a while since I've done any tutorials, and I'm sorry I have been absent. Uh, just life gets the better of you. But I'm back, and today I'm going to share with you some of my tribal belly dance secrets. So for those of you who don't know, my uh, trade is as a belly dance instructor and performer. And we're always looking for new tips and tricks for our makeup and hair routine. So today I'm going to focus on um, doing hair. I actually have a photo shoot this afternoon. I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you some of my behind the scenes and how I get this short hair to look dramatic, particularly for stage or for, uh, for documentary type photography that we're going to be getting today. Um, so uh, ladies with short hair in particular are frustrated with getting really dramatic hair and your hair may be even shorter than mine but I guarantee you that the the techniques we're going to be using today work even for really tight little pixie cuts uh, so stick with me okay so here's the not so dirty little secret it's literally a bag of hair a bag of hair well a hair net full of hair. Uh, this is called a rat. Uh, rats come in many forms. Mine is uh, literally I took two colors of uh, fake hair that matched my hair color at the time. It's not a as great a match right now but it's certainly close enough for our purposes today. Uh, and I bought a transparent hair net see right here um, at the drugstore and then I stuffed it full of hair and tied it in a knot on the back side. And that's really all there is to it. And when I want to get really, really high dramatic stuff, I'll use two. So I, you know, mine are, you know, basically kind of a fist size, uh, and you can stack them and use them a myriad of different ways. If you really like, you know, like a bun bun kind of look, you can use two of them this way, that sort of thing. So um, I'm sorry, I keep I keep looking over here. This is where my monitor is to see if I'm in focus. It's been a while since I've had my video set up and I'm concerned that you're going to get this extremely blurry video. If you do, I'm really sorry, uh, but that's why I keep checking over here to make sure that um, I'm not going out of focus on you. Okay, so we have a rat or two. Okay, fake hair, matches your hair. Um, you're gonna want little rubber bands. I have a whole sack full of these little guys here. Um, they come in uh, black and clear. And the clear ones I find are not as grippy. They're, they're safer for your hair if you're really wor 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 <laughs> we're worried about hair breakage then the clear ones might be up your alley but I find they're kind of slippy. Uh, the black ones are much grippier and that's certainly what we want if you have very short hair. Uh, and then we're also going to use these guys. Uh, these guys right here. Uh, roller pins. They're just, they're just really kind of uh, jumbo sized hairpins and we're also going to use regular sized hairpins just your your usual little uh, bobby pins I guess whatever you want to call these so first of all I'm gonna I'm gonna section off my hair a little bit I have just these little um, clippy guys here and I'm gonna have some bangs out in my look you may not but I'm gonna take some of my bangs here Okay, and I'm leaving hair up here at the crown because that's where I'm going to be working in a minute. And I'm just going to take this guy and pull it off to the side out of my way. Okay. So we have this hair at the top of your head. Um, I like to concentrate mine. Uh, so it, it, uh, your head shape is going to be different than mine, obviously. But I don't want to be too far forward. I don't want it, the hair to look like it's coming straight up out of here. Nor do I want it so far back that any weight of, of what I put on my head is, is pulling downward, which is tough on your neck. So find a spot in between, and you'll find the sweet spot uh, for yourself uh, with practice. But mine tends to be kind of right in this zone here. I'm basically going to take four little points, like north, south, east, west. And I'm going to take these little elastics and I'm going to make tiny little ponytails. Now, again, my hair may be significantly longer than yours, but whatever uh, ponytail you can make is great. Because uh, it's that's the, this part is not the part we're going to be using. It's the part that's underneath it. 
and just cinch that baby down. It's pretty hot right there, huh? That's a look. All right, so that's kind of my north one there. My south one here. They don't have to be very big. Or south. And then an east and a west. These will comprise the anchors upon which we shall place our rat. Four little crazy ponytails. Now I'm gonna take four of the roller, oops, roller pins, the big guys here. I'm gonna place my rat roughly kind of centered over my little ponytails and you can tuck the ends under if you're worried about them poking out later. And I'm gonna go through the hairnet and the hair and under the elastic of my little north ponytail. So this guy's pretty snugly attached to my head there. And as you might imagine, I do it at the south point as well. This does not have to have any precision whatsoever, just getting this puppy anchored. Okay. So one of the coolest things that I find about using a rat as your base for whatever hairstyle that you're doing, um, not only does it provide height um, and something for fake dreads or hair to attach to, but hair sticks can also go through them. So it's like a little spot there for your hair sticks. And everybody loves hair sticks, right? So now I have all this extra hair um, and I'm not going to be using it. Sometimes I'll leave you know, pieces out or what have you, but today I actually want it all up. So using, again, those really large pins, because I'm going to take chunks of hair and do it. I'm just going to pull this straight up. And pin that right in there. I'm going to have scarves and, and all kinds of stuff over here. Now, if you're like me, your hair is shorter in the back and you probably have a lot of hair hanging down here and you may or may not want that to show. I'm gonna have some scarves and whatnot that's gonna help, but I don't want like all these little pieces like starting to pull out of the scarf. So to help control that, I actually get two more of the little elastics. And your hair may be too short to do this, but in that case, you probably won't have the same problem as me. I just take whatever I can, bunch it up, and put it in its own two tiny ponytails back here. And so when I put my scarves on, I can also pin into those to keep the scarves from riding up, and it keeps this hair from poking out. Looking pretty sexy. All right, get these bangs out of the way. All right, and here's my dreads. Um, I have two, uh, two sets. This is just yarn. It's kind of a thick and thin yarn. You'll see that it's kind of spun out unevenly. I like that. I think it looks more natural. I also have dreads that are, you know, like actual, actual fake hair, real fake hair. I have those as well. Um, but I like these because they're really lightweight uh, and doesn't add too much weight on my head and cause neck problems and whatnot. So let's see, how do I want to wear this today? I think I'd like to have some hair, some of the dreads coming down and back. So I have this just on a, a length of lace here. I'm gonna bring it around behind my bun, bring it to the front and tie it off. Okay. So I have hair hanging down the back. I'm gonna take my other one and I'm gonna go the other direction. Where is it? There we go. So I'm just gonna place it right at the base here over the back dreads but under the um, the rat. And tie that off. And I take this guy and I flip it up and over. And now I've got all this height up here. Now sometimes this will kind of want to pull up and gap. Most of that's going to be hidden once I get the scarf on. But I'll usually just take a single little uh, bobby pin and stick it in there just to anchor it so it won't come up. Okay, so now I've got this nice height on top and all the dreads hanging down and back. All right, so there are so many different things you can do by the time you reach this point. Um, like for instance, I have various 
like headband type things that you can put here, right? Up here if you want to. Like this one, this one's lovely. Like so, okay. I'm gonna be doing scarves. So I have two scarves. One is a regular um, triangular hip scarf. This guy right here. And I also have, where did you go? This was like a Target buy years ago. And it's shredding all the hell because I use it a lot, but it's just this long, there, see it's coming apart right there. Just this long rectangular guy. And it's kind of sparkly. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's like a natural and gold. It's real pretty. So I'm gonna use this for my base scarf. And all these fringes are actually gonna work for me. I'm gonna start by folding the tip up to the center. And then I'm gonna close all of those fringes up inside so that I have control over the fringes and they're not just going all over the place. Gonna bring it around the back, all right here. Underneath my dreads. Cross it over, right at the base of the dreads here. And then one way that I like to do this is then bring it around the dreads in back and I'll tie it underneath. Okay, as you can see all the dreads are lifted up and in back I can loof this out a little bit for fullness. I don't know if you're getting that because obviously I'm looking away. Look at you, looking away. Okay all this height up here. And you can see these little fringes dangling down. If they kind of get in your way, you can pin them out of the way just like hair, but it adds a little more texture to your look. I really like it. And then this guy has the sparkle to it. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come under the dreads here. Up and over. And I'm gonna tie it back underneath. So for the purposes of the stage, um, and really most of the rest of the time, I don't worry too much if my rat shows through a little bit. So you're probably seeing here that you can see the rat a little bit in between. Um, and I'm short, so people should be able to see that when they're up close, and yet they just don't seem to notice. Um, it blends in pretty well, and on stage you won't see it at all. So don't worry if it's showing a little bit. Um, and you know, loose ones hanging down can be cool. Sometimes you'll find that they drive you a little batty. So if you find a piece that you don't like, just, just like regular hair, you're just gonna take pins and pin them out of the way. So these little fringy guys are kind of bugging me. I'm just gonna tuck them up and under. But I like these ones on the sides that are coming down. Those are nice. Now once I have my scarves in place, um, I'll start uh, working with the flowers. So I have a box of my most used flowers that I keep handy. Right, up and around here. I focus a lot, as an ATS dancer, I focus a lot on the right side of my face because, you know, we dance on this side. So having flowers and everything kind of decorating the side of my face is ideal. Of course, the scarves offer you something to attach everything to. And just like tribal style, it's gonna be different every time. Don't, don't ever try and get the same look you got last time, you'll be super disappointed. Just know that it's gonna be beautiful. Just work with it. These little marabou guys are fun to tuck in there. 
And then I'll finish up by um, grabbing some of my favorite. I've got lots of like sparkly little pins and um, oh, crash clips, pretty things like this. And just experiment with putting these in, in different interesting places. Some of my favorite ones I've just found at the drugstore. Not even anything fancy or expensive, just like goodie brand at Walgreens kind of thing. This is one of those, this cute little sparkle. This came in a set of two. This guy right here, pretty. So there you have it. That's how I get my super short hair into big, bold, and dramatic. Of course, every time I do this, I will go and find a spot to do a lot of spinning in to make sure everything is anchored and re-anchor anything that doesn't seem like it's going to last. Um, particularly when it comes to hair sticks, these guys wanna fly all over the place, right? So making sure that they are well anchored wherever they are placed is very, very important. And this, this is going right into the, the rat in there, like I said. Uh, so it's pretty stable. But you never know till you spin. So always spin. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. And stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a makeup look that goes along with this. Uh, so I hope that you'll check that out. And stick with me. Beauty Along, beautyalong.com. Thanks.